Hey guys, welcome to Great Learning. Machine learning is one of the top domains in the world today. It has a unique way of constantly being part of new trends and upcoming tools and techniques that also help not only just with this domain but also with the others as well. Since we can all agree that it's a trending domain, getting on top of these trends will ensure that your learning can be aligned better with what is exactly required in the industry right now and of course a lot of other advantages as well. Keeping this in mind, we here at Great Learning have come up with this video discussing the top 5 things that are really important for you to know uh, in the year 2021. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. Alright guys, now the first thing that you might not know about machine learning is definitely how feature engineering has come about in today's world. There was a time when you just had to pick a couple of features and work with it to see what works best and what doesn't. But now there are chances where you can just use your thought for a while, build a logic, try to see if you have any sort of features that can have a say on your final prediction or not. So thought driven feature engineering is definitely the future. It's happening right now and in fact you might already know this feature engineering is something that can completely make or break your entire machine learning project so it's very very important that you understand the importance of feature engineering and how differently in fact that we are using feature engineering going ahead in this year and uh, you know moving on as well right so it's a very important thing that we talk about feature engineering now, if feature engineering was very fascinating for all of you all, make sure you check out this one, right? Data availability. Now, there is a very common misconception in the world of machine learning that having a faster algorithm can definitely make up for having a less amount of data. This is absolutely not the case. More data is definitely always better, almost 100% better than actually having a more efficient algorithm work on small amounts of data. And I'm sure if you're here, you should already know that it's not not just in the quantity of data uh, where we uh, take a look at the accuracy of the machine learning model but it also lies in the quality of the data so quality of the data and quantity of the data they both go hand in hand correlation is there and if you have a good amount of data which is of high quality this is definitely preferred whenever you take it and uh, put it up against a faster algorithm now I'm sure data availability might have come as a surprise to you all but take a look at transfer learning transfer learning is this process where we actually train the machine learning algorithm once and we use multiple test data from very different data sets to pass it along to actually see if our machine learning algorithm can train once but perform any number of times required on any number of data sets that we have at hand right the main thing that you really have to be focusing here on is the efficiency at which this can be done when transfer and uh, learning came into the picture it wasn't really very efficient as you can think about it but right now the thing that you really have to know about is that the efficiency stages of how we can build our models and have transfer learning work on a production or an enterprise grade that is going fantastically well and the efficiency is just constantly rising and it's taking off like never before so here is a very very important thing that you definitely must look towards and explore in machine learning so if you guys were impressed with transfer learning, get a load of recommendation systems, right? There are certain top of the line recommendation systems right now in the entertainment industry, which ensure that the companies that are losing it definitely lost a lot less money in the likes of a billion dollars, right? One billion dollars. What does it mean that uh, recommendation system saved a company from losing one billion? They rather uh, made that one billion in profit is how I would definitely want to say it out, right? It's not just this. Right now, 
now as we speak recommendation systems are being implemented literally everywhere the keyboards on your smartphone every time you go on to amazon to shop every time you watch a tv show on a netflix or even when you're just casually browsing through instagram right recommendation systems are so closely knit in today's world that at the end of the day you are being uh, you know you're using a recommendation system every now and then and this kind of an explosive trend is something that you guys should definitely check about and move ahead as well and then coming on to the most interesting thing that you guys definitely have to know about right now and guys get this at the top of your head is that it's about machine learning jobs and if you guys are freshers looking for machine learning jobs right now uh, well it has come to a point where most of these interviews be it mncs or startups are ensuring that you know there is a track that's being set where they're saying hey we want freshers to know more algorithms right now that's an easy thing you definitely can pick up on multiple algorithms go to the interviews and clear them but what they're also expecting right now especially from freshers is to make sure that you have a common data set and you can use the data set to maybe predict uh, in terms of accuracy or whatever it is but you have to do this with multiple algorithms to see which algorithm uh, works best whenever they give you any sort of data to work with right so this is a trend that is again exploding right now where even freshers even people who are not really expected to know uh, you know a lot of these things practically are expected to know this is happening because machine learning is an extremely competitive domain Uh, there's a lot of trending things and it becomes extremely important for you guys to concentrate on this and understand this as freshers because going ahead you can use this to your favor and ensure that you get your dream job So all right guys this brings us to the end of the list where we have discussed about the top 5 things that you might not know about machine learning now if you think there's any other point here that deserves a worthy mention on this top 5 list guys head to the comment section and let us know let's take this discussion there and carry on to understand about more things that we may not know about machine learning right perfect guys this has been a short video i'll see you on the next one I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell this is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from great learning and of course guys if you enjoy this video show us some love and do like this video knowledge increases by sharing right so make sure you share this video with your friends colleague and everyone who can make use of it and at the end of it make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and i'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments